Morning guys, um, early start. We're up in Leeds this morning, um, delivering one of the new um, inverter air source heat pumps, which we're gonna show you as well. Um, I'm up here with um, a client that we met about five weeks ago. I've been talking to him before that about advice on the pond. Um, and so a bit of background on it. About two years ago, Baden um, put a 500 gallon garden pond in, that was it. And then like it happens with many people, he got the bug. Um, he's never kept fish before that two year period. So he's gone straight into it, but now he's kind of ripped his garden up um, and done a proper job. So the pond that he's done now is gonna be around about 2000 gallons. It's 12 foot by nine foot, um, five foot four deep um, with a nice window at the front. It's gonna be running on one bottom drain into a Nexus 320. Um, there's a skimmer on the system as well that's gonna run through the heater. Um, we will be unboxing the heater as well. It looks a fantastic unit. It's a big unit, but the, the way it performs um, is gonna be very cost effective um, with, the new, with the new style of air source heat pumps that there are available now. So yeah, so like I said, he's only been in it for two years and this is the second pond and he's got, you know, just he has, he's thrown everything at this pond and it's, you know, and as this channel has always been for, he's for giving people ideas. It's not the biggest of gardens, um, but for what he's done with it, he's managed to put a pond in there and also keep a garden as well. So, you know, it's amazing really. So he's done a fantastic job. And again, he's done all of it himself. Um, bar the fiberglass in him and a friend of his have done all the brickwork and the patio and everything like that and there's, yeah, it's a lot to be finished off but it's um, it's really getting there so this will be part one and I don't think part two is going to be that long away so but anyway let's have a look at the pond so I'll start from up here and then you can envisage how it's going to look when it's finished so the patio is all new from when I was last year when I delivered the Nexus and the other equipment so now there's an echo there as well which is great so you're not going to get any water falling down the steps is a good idea. So, and that is the pond, which is there. Obviously the Nexus 320 isn't going to go there. It's going to go in this lovely area here, which was made to measure. You've got the flags on the bottom there, which is makes the Nexus exact height for the water level and everything like that. So you've got the four inches, which is coming in there with the one inch for the air. You've got return over there. All the electric in. And if we go round, you see the skimmer all in there. Also on here, you can see there's a bottom return there, which is six inches off the base. And then we have another return, which is there. Both inch and a half returns, which is ideal for a 2000 gallon pond we've got the aerated bottom drain on the bottom which is there when was this fiberglass uh, three, days ago. three days ago so this has been done for three days now um, the window is going to go in this evening um, and you can see on this one the way that they've done it is that they've got the that's where the the window is going to sit behind there and then the rest of that block there will be done with the final coping that's going on onto the system so if we can just move back there, you'll get a better idea. So the sun's out today, so it's a bit glary. And there, that's the main pond. That's where the window is going to go. There's going to be sort of like a summer house on going on there. Um, the pond that he's got now, just keeping a few of the fish in, he's back there. And then the Nexus is going to go in at some stage today. So while we're here as well, I thought we'd show you these, um, the new inverter heat pumps. Um, this one, and don't get, don't, don't get shocked, is an 11.5 kilowatt um, inverter air source heat pump. Now, it does sound a lot, but that's the power that it produces, not the power that it uses. And with these new inverter ones, is that, the only these this unit this particular unit will go down to minus 20 
um, and at minus 20 it'll keep the it'll keep the pond at 10 to 12 degrees without an issue um, hopefully we'll never go down to minus 20 but that's the maximum that it can go down to which is um, pretty much better than most of the units on the market at the moment now the, the way that these work the maximum power that this will use electric wise is around about 2.3 kilowatts now that's if you start in the pond up from cold water and you want to get it straight up to 25 degrees it'll use that but when it gets to temperature the good thing about these is that they'll they trickle the power in so this unit you know you're talking when you know if you if you're running at 22 and you want to get it to 23 24 this unit will do it at less than 500 watts they're amazing really so the well while they are quite expensive to buy but the the savings in electric is just phenomenal so let's get it out of the box anyway and we'll have a look at it right and here we go getting it out of the box they are packaged very well now these units as well um are all wi-fi enabled as well um like with everything this modern day you download an app and you can set the temperature from anywhere anywhere in the world you can um check what flow rates going through it you can there's a lot of things you see what the electric consumption um, and the good thing about these heaters as well is that um, a lot of the air source heat pumps on the market are, are within a de two degrees of the temperature or one degree because at the end of the day they are four swimming pools so um but this one these are 0.1 of a degree when they're in setting so that's going to save even more money so yeah they are great so let's get the both on inch and a half so inch and a half pressure pipe goes straight in in and out easy peasy just watch the spares in there you've got the bits in there as well I just want to turn it round to show you the um, the front of the unit, which is there. Got the big fan at the back, but the way that they look is superb. Um, you've got the control panel there, which you can use manually if you're not using the app. If the Wi-Fi doesn't reach out to the back of the garden, it's simple to use that. But just it's a question of setting the thermostat so but yeah they look a great unit it's all galvanized aluminium um, totally weatherproof so they can go anywhere it doesn't matter um, and just a simple inch and a half in an inch and a half back out to the pond and that's it there's nothing else to it but these will save a lot of money in the long run um, especially if you want to heat the pond now we always recommend in the winter in the colder months to cover the pool always um, because you know unless you've got a lot of money just to you know to pay the electric bill you know if you've got an open pond heat rises obviously so it will cost a lot of money to run when it's out but if you cover a pond the cost is very minimal now to run one of these units they are really really good so hopefully get them on the website this will force me now to get them put up on the website so should do that before this video comes out um, and you can have a look i'll put the link in the description so that's that Right, so let me just show you this bit now, what's going to be finishing. This is the Indian stone on there, and then that's going to go all the way round the pond. Um, that little pond's going, is it? Yes. So the little pond is going at the back, um, and the shed's going here. So this will all be Indian stone. So it'll look quite big when it's finished. You know, it, look, it will look really big. Now, these tops here are called Raj Green, um, and they're going to be the final coping on the pond, and they're going to go on the side as well as a clad. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Just round, round the, the base. So just, oh, round the bottom round of the, the thing. Base. And then what's going on the... K render. K, you're going to K render it on the on the thing. So that'll be there. So it's got the K render on the side. It's got the Raj Green um, copings on the top. Um, and they're going to look really good, those. They'll, they'll match everything, you see. So, it, you know, you've got all the, the Indian stone up there and everything like that. So it's all going to match. So it's going to look smart. Now, the heater, which is there, is going to go down there. Um, on an angle um, so that luckily it will it doesn't look too bad on the heater so you know when the summer house goes up you will you will see it but it won't be too bad so but you can see even with the nexus there and everything there's going to be quite a lot of space once that's gone and once the shed's gone so part two when it's all up and finished should be really good right and that's it guys um, another one done and um, we will get back to this one no doubt 
Um, I brought uh, quite a few fittings with me today along with the vary pumps that are going on the system. So we, you can get them plumbed in this weekend and we'll have it all running next week. So, and then finish it off. So we will be back, but anyway, that's a 2000 gallon pond up in Leeds. I'm um, gonna be running on one bottom drain to a Nexus 320 um, and then with the skimmer on as well, going through the heater. Um, it's got the new 11 and a half kilowatt um, inverter air source heat pump, which um, is gonna be extremely good to run, um, a lot better than the older ones. We will be getting um, some in at the shop as well to run on our systems. It's crazy not to really, um, with the way that they can save us money. So yeah, hopefully get the book on the website, but I hope you enjoyed the pond. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one.